Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video, we're gonna say hello world from JavaScript. So I've created a new project in NetBeans called JavaScript, and under site root, I'm gonna right click on it, go to new, HTML file, and I'm gonna name it hello world. Okay, so NetBeans generated a new HTML template, and at the top you can see here doc type HTML, which means the browser is going to be interpreting our page in HTML5, which is the new version of HTML. And uh, we can go ahead and insert JavaScript anywhere on our HTML page. And we do this with a script tag. So we open and close the script tag. And now everything that we write inside of the script tag is going to be interpreted by the browser as JavaScript. So we can say alert, which is the built in function in JavaScript designed to create a message box. And this function takes in a string parameter, which is going to be the, our text displayed by the message box. So we can say hello world. And then we end the statement with a semicolon. So we have just written a full statement in JavaScript. And we can now consider ourselves JavaScript programmers. So this part is going to be before JavaScript code. And then um, after the browser uh, parses and runs the JavaScript code, uh, this part is going to be after JavaScript code. So if we now view this in a browser, we're going to get hello world. And over here, you can see that we don't have the after JavaScript code part yet because our JavaScript code is still running. And if we now click OK, we now get after JavaScript code. And uh, if I go to view source, you can obviously see that we have before JavaScript part. Uh, and then we have our JavaScript, which is run. And after the JavaScript is uh, done running, the other part is parsed by the browser, which is the after JavaScript code. So that's how that works. Okay, and um, this script tag is all we need to do to um, let the browser know that we're going to be coding in JavaScript. The script tags uh, default language is JavaScript. And uh, I'm saying this because in the past, you may have seen a, a language language attribute to uh, specify what kind of language we're going we're gonna to be coding in. And uh, this doesn't make any sense anymore, obviously, because JavaScript is a default language. So all we need is a script tag. Also, in the past, there was a type attribute specifying uh, the type of our script. And that's no longer needed either because again, the default language of the script tag is JavaScript. Okay, so also in the past in really ancient JavaScript books, you may have seen this kind of a comment. And so this comment was designed for um, really ancient browsers, um, browsers that are more than 15 years old. And uh, it was designed for uh, in case the browser wasn't able to read JavaScript. But the modern browsers in the last 15 years are all able to read JavaScript. So you don't need to worry about that. And uh, actually, the proper way to insert a comment inside of JavaScript is to use double forward slash. And um, for this, we can say this function displays a message box. And we can also use multi line comments with, with a forward slash star. And that would be a multi line comment. So that's the proper way to insert comments inside of JavaScript. Another way to include JavaScript is to use a attribute named SRC. So we would use the script tag and then we would provide the URL where the JavaScript file is located. And uh, we can create a new JavaScript file with extension .js. So I'm going to go ahead and create one here. And you can see that this uh, file script has an extension JS. And obviously, we don't need to specify the script tag anymore because the browser already knows this is a JavaScript file and it's going to be interpreting and uh, parsing out JavaScript uh, the way it's intended without us having to specify the script tag. So here we can say alert script JS says hello. And then um, we can include it in the SRC attribute by saying script JS. 
So, so uh, that would be the relative way of including the script. And now let's go ahead and run the file. And now we have script.js says hello. If we click OK, we have hello world, which is our ori original script. And if I click OK again, then we have this part after JavaScript, which is executed last. Okay, so that's how all of that works. And um, you cannot have a script, src equals script.js, and then also ha have the code inside. So that's why I have this script tag separate from this one. You need to have one or the other. And another advantage of uh, including a file like this is because the browser is only going to download the script once and then store it in its cache. And uh, so the user will only have to download the file once and then not have to do it again. And that will save you resources and make your page, your website will load faster. Another way that we can include JavaScript is to use uh, a, a uh, SRC and then uh, provide a full URL. For example, if we're including a jQuery library, we can uh, supply full URL and that would be perfect. We will close the script tag. And now we have a full jQuery library available for us and we can go ahead and take advantage of that. And that's it for the introduction tutorial for JavaScript. Hello world. If you guys liked it, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.